Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of All About the Cars of Gran Turismo 7. In this video we're going to learn all about the 1976 Ferrari 512BB. Well, this car is only available for purchase at the used car dealership on Gran Turismo 7 and it's currently selling for 301,300 credits. Now as many of you may already know the used car dealer rotates cars in and out daily, so this car may or may not be available to, for purchase to you at the time that you watch this video, but it will eventually rotate back into being available for purchase in the future. All right, I'm going to click on this car and we'll go over some of its specs to start. It comes stock with 533.28 performance points. The drivetrain is MR, meaning that the engine is situated at the middle of the car and the rear wheels drive the car. The maximum power stock is 354 horsepower at 7,000 RPM. The weight is just under 3,100 pounds, and the engine is naturally aspirated. Now we'll click on Learn More and see what Andy has to say about this car. The Berlinetta Boxer was the first Ferrari production car with a mid-mounted 12-cylinder engine. This coupe combined the beauty of a Berlinetta body with the power of a race car. We in the biz refer this machine as the BB. Its top speed of 187.7 miles per hour made it the fastest car in the world when it was first introduced. Pininfarina, the company that penned the design, continues to work closely with Ferrari to this day. Alright, that's everything we can learn about this car from the used car dealer, so we're going to back out to the main menu now. And I'm going to go to the garage where I'll get into this car and we'll learn some more about it. We'll go to change car, go down to F for Ferrari. And here we are. Now we just have to find this car and there it is. Okay, so I'm going to click on this car and we'll listen to the startup sound and then we'll learn some more. Alright, we're going to click on the car collection, go to this vehicle, and read a quick description about it. One of the cars that defined the supercar boom in the 1970s, this car was considered the world's fastest, along with the Lamborghini Countach. Ferrari launched its first mid-engine production car, the 365 GT4 BB, at the Turin Motor Show in 1971 as an answer to Lamborghini's now legendary Miura model. The letters BB in the new car's title stood for Berlinetta Boxer, a reference to the car's coupe body style and its horizontally opposed boxer engine. The pistons of each cylinder bank were positioned exactly opposite of each other on a flat plane. The 365 GT4 BB started delivery in 1973 but was not well received in the marketplace. So just three years later, Ferrari produced an evolved version of the car called the 512BB. The major change was an engine that was enlarged by 600cc, giving it 5.0 liters in displacement. The name 512 refers to the engine, a 5.0 liter 12 cylinder. It pumped out 355 horsepower, which was actually 19.7 horsepower less than the 365 GT4 BB's power plant while torque was 28.9 foot-pound higher at 332.7 foot-pound of torque. The 512BB featured a steel tube space frame. The body was composed of steel, aluminum, and reinforced fiberglass. The car's svelte shape was penned by both Pininfarina and Sca Scaglietti. Ferrari claimed both the 365 GT4 BB and 512 BB had an official top speed of 187.7 miles per hour, a response to the 186.4 miles per hour top speed of the Lamborghini Countach. There was a major supercar boom in Japan at the time, and popularity was split roughly 50 50 between the 512 BB and the Countach, making them fierce rivals in the Japanese marketplace as well as the world stage. All right, that's everything we can learn from the garage. Some great information about this car from Gran Turismo's description. We're going to back out to the main menu once again and stop at the cafe to see if anybody is here to talk to us about this car. And for this particular car, there's no one here to talk to. If there was, they'd be next to this trophies icon. 
but no one to talk to, not to worry. We're going to back out to the main menu one more time and make one last stop at the tuning shop, where I'll show you everything that can be done to this car to increase its performance and power. So at the tuning shop, under the sports category, everything here can be added to the car. Under club sports, same thing. Everything here, with the exception of dirt tires, can be purchased and added to the car. Under semi-racing, you cannot add any turbochargers, superchargers, or intercoolers, but everything else on this page is fair game and can be added to the Ferrari. And lastly, under the racing category, the anti-lag system, racing intercooler, and high-end supercharger are not available, but everything else, with the exception of a couple of the higher-end modifications, are available, those being the weight reduction stage 4, and the active LSD controller, as well as the torque vectoring center differential. So lots that you can do to this car to increase its horsepower and overall performance. That's everything we can learn about this car on Gran Turismo 7. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helped you to determine whether or not you'd like to add this car to your collection. Stay tuned for more videos highlighting all of the cars of Gran Turismo 7. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.